Namaste everybody. Kakutsta here again. I'm sorry for the long break. Um, honestly, I did. Let me pause this for a second. Uh, yes. Honestly, I did record a couple of TGs uh, in the past few weeks, but my computer... I don't use a gaming PC. I just use my Mac Pro. So, it, the lag was so unbearable that every video went on to be two hours long and I wasn't sure anybody wanted to uh, watch a video, a TG that is two hours long with my commentary in it. So I decided not to uh, put either of them on the channel. But uh, never mind, I thought, I, I, I've tried to work around a couple of things which will be less taxing on my uh, PC or on my Mac. So hopefully it should be fine, but still, to be safe, I'm just starting with the TG, but with some big hitters. Today, I'll probably, I'll be covering two TGs today. One is Borg versus Valirant, and the other after this would be Borg versus Winmay. So all pro players, great TGs, uh, there uh, they were all submissions, uh, not from Borg or Vali. One was uh, Winmay's submission. I think they were Winmay's submissions on the forum. I grabbed one from there and this was from a friend who spectated this match. So let's just, oops, let's just hurry, dive into it. Uh, okay, awesome. So here you have Valorant uh, at 23-28 and uh, Borg is at 22-28. Okay, so there's some point difference here. All right, so Valorant is playing as the Iberians, very tough to um, raid. Iberians and Borg is playing as the Mauryans. Wow, that was a brave choice. Yes, playing with Mauryans when you are up against um, Iberians. Uh, that was a brave choice, but uh, because in late game you're dead because Iberians are so much stronger. In early game you can't do much, even with the. I know why people like Mauryans because you can have this uh, mobile elephant and have a bunch of cavalry roaming across the map collecting food so you don't have to worry about food collection but um, you can't raid Iberians you know so even early game I don't think it helps but hey what do I know Borg knows much better than I do so I'm, I'm, I'm sure he has a couple of sleeves up here couple of tricks up his sleeves oh my god what am i saying anyway so yeah constant uh, cavalry production here uh, he's getting ready for a raid vali is doing he made a bunch of women and now he's doing some calves yes okay oh he's raiding too okay so he's going on to raid borg i just hope he doesn't like you know completely yeah. run into these six because the, these guys will decimate his five calves and looks like he's not looks like Valirant is going in a direction where there are no calves so Vali might just get lucky let's see populations are equal 2020 and um, all right here we go oh he was too quick to catch it oh my god I usually can never know the incoming cavalry raid until I've at least lost like six or seven people so that's where I'm at and this is where the pros are at wow okay neat uh, okay uh, this is smart so Borg saw that he has four or five cavalry and it's I think it's pretty safe to assume that that's all the cavalry he has Valirant has and Borg now knows basically Vali kind of opened his hand you know so Borg now knows that Vali has six five or six max seven calves but I have nine and I think four in the making. Yep, four in the making. So nine and four. Yes, Eleven and four. I'm so sorry. Fifteen calves is a lot to handle. Um, let's see how he gets around those walls. Oops, he's caught in a bad place. Yeah, all these three yes, are dead. That is a bad move by Vali. He lost three calves for nothing. He could have at least had these jump back in. Yes, yeah, that could have been a good fight. Eight and these three. Even if we would have lost one or two, there would have been nine. Nine V eleven, somewhere near a tower. Could be something. Borg now knows that this okay, let's see what Borg is seeing. Yep, yep, yep. He's found the vulnerable spot. Oh he's blocked by by the house. This is so smart. 
Why, well, why can't I ever think of such moves? If it were me, anybody would have been walking around anywhere the, on the map. Wow, he made a house right where he could block something and he's making a wall here so that Borg can't come from the other side either. Alright, that was a lure away. So 9v15. Yeah, he can, he'll, he'll lose that if he engages, he knows that. And now, he has 12. 12v15, yeah, he'll still lose. So it's a good thing. Don't engage, don't engage. Ah, he engaged. Ah, yeah, this is going to hurt. I think uh, Valirant didn't quite count the number of calves. I think he made a mistake because sometimes these calves kind of just mesh into one another in a big blob and it feels like they are 10 or 11 but they might be 15, 16 and those few numbers can really make a difference. So he's stealing all of Ali's food. This is the cool thing about Moria. So you can, you can steal your enemy's food right in his territory. This is so yes, cool. See? He still has 10 calves. Any more under production? Yeah, so he's getting a steady diet of a cavalry uh, every few seconds. Okay. Uh, interesting. Now he knows he can't raid. What would he do? And Wally cannot make this uh, this wall because if he makes this wall, then his guys cannot come from here. You know? And this house is destroyed. That's probably because so that these guys could come from here. But the wall never went up anyway, so he's dead. Uh, I don't think Wally realized that the wall wasn't up. I don't think he realized that. Okay, could yeah, this see? be detrimental? Uh, okay, Borg lost some. Okay, so this is a nice trap. Although Borg lost yeah, see? some, but uh, yeah, Wally lost much more. He lost much more. And he'll keep losing. Yeah. He's down to four calves and I'm pretty sure more are on the way. Yep, more are on the way. There are some already. Oh, Wally resigns. Okay. Wow, that was a... That was a short one. I was told that this is a short game. I had no idea it was this short. Alright. Let's look at the summary. Not much to see. The points gap is a lot. I'm not sure whether this was a rated or an unrated game though, honestly. Uh, let's look at the kills. Uh, let's look at the chart. Military score. Yeah, Borg was always ahead. Economy wise, they were neck and neck. And uh, yeah, KD of 1.8, 0.56. I think that first battle that Bali took uh, was, uh, was uh, his undoing. Anyway, okay, this was a good one. Borg v Vali can never get bored of that. And next we will go to Vinma versus Borg. Yep, I think I have let's see yeah, this one. Okay. So let's see. Alright. Game number two. Vinma versus Borg. Borg is playing as the Morias again. Okay, so he's fancying Morias a lot these days. And Vinma as the Carthaginians. I think I think we know the spiel for the most part. Like yeah, Borg is Borg will make a lot of calves. He will attack. It all depends on how well Vinma can uh, can hold. That's what. I like this strategy. See, this is how aggressive these guys are. The first two calves, the very first two calves that Bog makes, he's not even collecting hunt nearby or uh, chickens nearby. He, look at this assembly point. The assembly point is right here, right in um, in Vinma's base, near Vinma's base. Can you see what he's looking at? Bog. So he just sent them here, two of these. But he knows there has to be something some hunt around and in the meantime his elephant is walking all the way here so yeah this is how this is how aggressively these guys play amazing uh did he make two more calves and why are they all collecting here though i thought these two would also go there interesting let's look at vinma vinma okay he has a population lead obviously because he's not making any calves 
So he is done with all the struggler trees here. He's on food, making a storehouse now. Yeah, I don't think this is going to go well for him at all because he's only making women. And Borg is making cavalry exclusively. Okay. So how many cavalry does he have? Uh, six. Okay. Let's see. Uh, just the two. Why is there only one? Where's the other guy? Oh, here it is. I think he was scouting. Let's see what Vin uh, Vinme sees. Okay, Vinme knows. He knows. Yeah. Okay, he loses. He loses the um, the archer. Now Vinme knows. I think the next batch will have to be some either cab or yep, yep. The next batch is of archers. You need some firepower. Um, in the meantime, Borg is just going after all of Hunt, uh, all of Vinme's hunt. I think Vinme might have thought that he'll go for the standard Katha strategy of uh, quickly going up to P2 and then murder everyone with sword more calves. But oh, 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 he's taking the, it's taking the fight. No, oh, he died. That was quick and a painless death might I add yeah this does not look good for Vinme um, he has a population advantage not that it counts okay he's making some uh, spearmen too uh, when will Borg attack he's finished off these hunts does he know there is that is there any more hunt Let's see what Borg is looking at. Okay, so the elephant is going back, back, which means he's not in any mood for collecting any more resources. Yeah, next is going to be attack. Mm -hmm. I want to see how does he manage food after this. Okay, he has moved four women on this, so he didn't even make anything up until now, like a farmstead. Yes, see. Okay, this is a sizable uh, small contingent to yes, take care of 12. Yeah, I think this should be enough if he sends these guys. Yep, yep, that's what pros do. These guys absorb all the... These guys will absorb... Oh, they didn't absorb much, did they? Wow, six of them. They just... Seven of them, rather. They just vanished. I thought they would have uh, resisted a bit more. Interesting. You know, the other problem is because archers are so weak, like I'm wondering if it instead of archers, they were skirmishers attacking these cavalry, he would have lost more cavalry. I have a feeling. Although, I don't, I don't think he lost. Anyway, I lost three, okay. but Okay, that did not end well for... And these ten uh, archers, they can't save squat. They can't get you out of anything. Mm -mm. Yep. And you have a few coming from here, a few coming from here, so he's going to be surrounded. Uh, 13. Yeah, enough to keep these guys away, but not at all enough to kind of, uh, you know, take them on. Yeah, 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 these 13 will get killed by 9 caps. And while he's fighting this, 4 have entered here. So, I think he's doing a decent job. He still has 12. And I think Borb lost more here. Wow, the commentator's curse. Just when I thought Borg will win it all, Vinme actually won one for himself. Nice. Okay. Population wise, Borg 32, Vinme 39. Uh, he is yep, collecting more hunt. Uh, only women in the making. No more calves. No more. Yeah, no more calves. At least for now. Yep, no more calves. Making only women. Interesting. Um, no storehouse. Don't you kind of need the storehouse for the upgrades and stuff, like the wood upgrade and everything? I don't know. Is he going for round two? Not yet. Okay. 34. Let's see where is Vinme. Vinme is boom is pretty standard, making more women. He has a total of 4 spearmen and 12 archers. Okay. 
Yeah, he needs a lot of food. In me. And okay, so here comes round two. Has he made any? No, no storehouses. So there will be no uh, wood cutting upgrade for him. Some of these guys are also weak. So if he gets into the wrong position or the wrong location, I think Vinmay can can really give a very deathly blow to Borg. Let's see. Okay. That's smart setting up a setting up an outpost because you know he he has come from here before. And here is the the storehouse for the metal. Uh, he's thinking of going up pretty soon, I guess. Okay, he sees him. Okay, this is nice. Did he lose any? No, he won't. I think he was also taking the elephant back here just in case there was some hunt. Yeah. He didn't lose any, which is good. Borg I and mean. uh, meeting with more calves, meeting with more calves. Okay, so he he's committing himself to raiding and winning, I guess. Yep, making more calves. Mm -hmm. So he's going to raid his way out of this game. Borg and win me is going yeah he knows the only way to counter him is by going more caps but he needs he needs that wood to phase up so he first needs 500 wood then he will phase up and then he will make the uh, embassies and then the more caps i don't know whether he can hold Borg off for that long so you see this hunt is over the only hunt that is left for Borg, if you can see, he knows most everything is done except for in these few slivers. So once this hunt is done, Borg will go with everything he has. And what he has are 20 calves. 20 calves is a lot. Can he take it here? Nope. 20 calves will completely dominate this. Unless he walks right into the miners, which Borg won't. You know, Borg is better than that. Wait, he has a mine here. I wonder if he had gone for this mine instead of that one. That would have made the difference. So that you have all the concentration here. Interesting. Oh, he is going for the miners. What do you know? Yes, see? No, I think he's exploding. I don't know. The population gap isn't a lot. I mean, it is, but like not a lot. Anyone making the embassy? Nope. Not yet. Oh, here it is. Sorry. Yep. The embassy is coming up too. And these guys are coming to fight. And these guys are coming to fight. This is nice. Oh, he's also brought in his infantry. Okay, this is nice. Let's see what happens. 19 calves, 6 spearmen, 5 spearmen, losing them, losing them, losing them. Oh, we might lose this. And he sent his spearmen to attack the archers. Oh, this. I really thought Borg might not be able to dominate him this in this fight, but I was wrong. He still has 10 caps. Wow. Okay. Okay, okay. Nice, nice. So 10 more caps coming out. This is good. Well, he held off Borg for long enough for these guys to come out. So I think that counts for something, I guess, I'm not sure, let's see, um, yeah, he might lose a couple of houses, if he loses houses, then these guys won't be able to come out, uh, uh, don't come out now, don't come out now, no, 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 oh, good, 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 yeah, I was wondering. He had to, if they had come out in those piece, in that piecemeal fashion, five and five, they would have been slaughtered. So, okay, two are going yes, to intercept. Yes, this yes, is yes. going to be ten. Okay, this is nice. Yes, Wait, why is he coming back? Oh, I think he misclicked. Damn it, he misclicked, I think. Yes, see? But never mind, those more caps are pretty strong. He has 15, 14 calves. Okay, look at this. 
just when these guys could have made a difference. So much micro ink, can you imagine? My god, Borg, this was amazing. Not only was he fighting here, but then he also brought in a few calves from behind to attack the archers. This, my goodness, this was brilliant by Borg, I must say. Yep, sounds about right. Honestly, I thought Vinmec could have had it here. I, I thought he did have it. Maybe that one misclick here? Maybe that cost him a little bit? But you see, with, with pros, it's 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 just that. We, we, one misclick and you're gone. Probably that, but Borg was phenomenal in his micro. -in. Phenomenal. Let's look at the summary. Alright. Not not much to see here. The, the game was so small. Uh, so short, I mean. Longer than the last one, but yep, Borg was almost always ahead of him. The gap wasn't that big, you know. Vinme was doing all right. I, I wish if things would have been different, um, but I don't know. Like Borg won it fair and square. This is good. Uh, KD of two, almost two. Amazing. Oh. Awesome, so two 1v1s, uh, both involving Borg uh, by chance, and he won both of them too, against two other ultra pro players on Zero AD. So thank you for tuning in guys, appreciate it. You guys have a wonderful day, evening or night, wherever you are. Goodbye.